of Rachel Bella Crafts. Rachel here. I hope you're all well. So I've got a really um, quick little uh, pocket project to do with you today. But before we go on to that, I just want to share with you all um, some brilliant kits that I came across on um, Etsy this week um, whilst looking for um, some sellers from the Ukraine. Now, I know uh, quite a lot of the um, other YouTubers and Instagrammers have been sharing, obviously, the different ways in which we can support um, Etsy sellers who are living in Ukraine at the moment. Um, and if you go on to your Etsy uh, account, you can actually search for products by country. So um, if you go into the filters, um, look on there for um, country, it's, it's, it's quite a way down, location I think. And then uh, if you click on Ukraine, it'll then filter out then all of the uh, sellers who are based in the Ukraine. So um, you can just then go in and type in, you know, digital kit, digital papers, and lots of different um, sellers will come up. So I just wanted to share with you um, three uh, sellers that I came across this week. Um, and I just think it'd be great if we could just support um, these guys in, in whatever way that you can. Um, and it's good sometimes to see what they've got. So um, the first one is from uh, Christy Art Design. So this is her, um, her Etsy uh, shop front. Um, and she makes uh, beautiful, beautiful um, digital collage sheets. Um, and she makes other things as well, I believe. So go check her out. I'm going to sh just show you some of the kits that I purchased from her shop. So she makes these lovely, um, she had quite a large selection of like journal cards. Um, now my printer hasn't set the size up properly. So excuse me, the fact that I cut the bottom off, that is not her sizing. That's me because I didn't click on um you got unclick the fit to frame thing because obviously we've got different paper sizes here but that is a, a vintage script journal card kit which i thought was rather sweet um i also purchased these lovely easter ones from her um ready for my easter journal so she's got those lovely little journaling cards there that's easter time and this one is called happy easter and what i love about this is she's left a bit of space here for you to put your own thing in uh, this little egg shape here so they were really, really cute. And this one I just love. This is Lush. This is called Bonnie. And um, it reminds me very much of a book I used to read when I was a child um, who had little characters like this in. But they're all really cute little affirmations. So start each day with a happy thought. Friends who care are a recipe for happiness. Wishing you happiness. And a little kindness can bring a lot of happiness. Isn't that true, hey? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's another one. And then these are also from her um, her Etsy store and they are absolutely beautiful. And this is called Watercolour Flowers and she's got a lovely watercolour background, a little bit of script and then a beautiful flower on each one, but they are so effective. So I've got those as well. So they were the little journaling cards that I got from Christy Art Design. And then the next shop that I came across was called uh, Charm Studio. So if I just show you on my um ipad there if you can see that sham studio i will put their links in my uh, description below if you want to go and find them and she has just got some of the most amazing oh sorry i forgot it's a screenshot <laughs> i'm just gonna flick through i can't um she's got some of the most amazing kits and designs and things on there um and i bought from her this beautiful fairy kit um because i've been wanting for ages to do a lovely uh fairy journal um, sadly, my ink ran out halfway through printing these, so not all of the pages have come out well. But um, there we are, that's it there on better paper. But just look at how beautiful these pages are. So keep your eye out, there'll be a, a fairy journal coming very soon. And then the last seller is Ollie Co Art. So that there is it, sorry about the light on my screen, that there is her Etsy store. Ollie Co Art, I hope I'm saying that right, um, and she also has a most beautiful selection of watercolour prints. Oh my gosh, I couldn't resist these. They are absolutely stunning and I think just a perfect addition to any kind of journal that you're making. Um, I'm about to go into botanicals and I just thought, oh my gosh, I love them. So I've backed, double backed these so that I can use them as well to do some ephemera with. But they're just so vibrant, they're really, really beautiful. And obviously, I don't know if you'll notice that the one uh, resounding theme throughout them, of course, is the, the yellows and the blues, which, of course, is uh, the colours for Ukraine. So, guys, if you are looking for a way in which to support people in the Ukraine and you don't know where to donate, um, we're better to donate than directly to these people. 
Um, one thing also really important for you to know is that Etsy actually came out, I think about 10 days ago, in support for Ukraine and has dropped all fees for Etsy sellers in Ukraine. So anything you buy from sellers in the Ukraine, they receive the full amount. There is nothing deducted by Etsy. There are no charges made to them. Um, they, they, they get the full amount of whatever you purchase. So there you go. That's just a little bit of information for you there, guys, just so that you know um, what I'm working with and who. Okay, on with today's project. So I'm going to show you how to make a pocket that is actually four pockets in one sheet of paper. I'm just going to tell you whose papers I'm using to do this because this is part of my design team uh, project for Pink Monarch Prints. And I'm working with two other kits. One is called Gypsy Rose and the other one is called the Magnolia Lane Papers. They are both stunning kits. Right, that's it with the iPad. I feel like a teacher here today, my goodness. But I keep forgetting what I'm meant to be saying. So it's the quickest way to do it. So this is the pocket that I am going to make today. Um, and I did have a lovely large piece of card in my hand earlier to demonstrate my pocket and I have now plopped it somewhere else. Right, we will use this. This will do. So you will see in here I have a nice deep pocket. That pocket goes all the way down. There is also a pocket behind there, but on the other side of the page, ta-da, is another pocket in there and another pocket behind there. Well, actually it's more of a tuck than a pocket. It's entirely up to you how you fix that down so it's really easy it's really simple to do very effective and like I say you get four pockets for one sheet of paper so how did I make my pocket well, I'm going to show you now so the first thing you need to do is you take a piece of paper this is a, one of those beautiful prints from Pink Monarch print and I've obviously taken off all my white edges so the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to fold your sheet of paper in half yeah that's not too hard to start off with is it Right, fold it in half, open it back up. Now we're going to fold it in half the other way. So we're going to bring it across and we're just going to, ooh, my goodness. Okay, make sure that's nice and square there. There we go. So we've now got a fold there and a fold there. All right, now we're going to work with it um, with the folds this way, okay? So the next thing that you're going to do now is we're going to bring down, I want to say about an inch. If an inch is the top of your thumb, as we always say, a rule of thumb over here. <laughs> Get it? Rule of thumb. Um, bring it down about an inch and then just take that across and square that into a nice straight line. There we are. Now the next thing I'm going to do is turn it over. And we're now going to take about a centimetre um, of the side. So, I don't know, is that even a centimetre? Oh my goodness, somebody run off my ruler again. Um, well, maybe it's about half a centimetre. It's a little bit of the side. That's all I'm going to say, a little bit. We don't need a lot. Just take over a little bit of the side because this is just going to form a flap for your pocket. So, don't go mad because obviously if it's too big, it's taken away from the the pocket aren't you and then turn it around and do the same to the other side just a tiny little bit across so yeah maybe it is a centimeter i'm looking around for a ruler ah, there's never one far right okay let's just double check that oh it is it is a centimeter dead on centimeter right so a centimeter on your fold there okay so now we turn it over have a shape that looks like this now if like me you might get a bit confused lots of you don't I know but sometimes I do so what I found the easiest thing to do was to take a pen or a pencil actually I've got a pencil no I'm going to do it in pen so you can see what I'm doing and we're going to just write a few things now because there's lots of different things going on with all of these different flaps here now okay so this one here we're going to glue okay because we're going to simply take this over and glue it down there all right but before we do that we need to cut off this bit here okay this little section i'm drawing on here just to demonstrate because it can be a bit difficult to see when you're using pattern paper and you often think oh my gosh what has she cut there now so i'm just going to show you what i'm going to do before i do it then the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off this section here so cut and i'm going to cut here and i'm going to cut up here Okay, and I'm also going to cut that little tiny bit there. 
Okay, so we're going to cut that section out there, that off there, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, we're not taking this bit off, leave that flap there, but we're going to cut here. Okay. And then we're going to cut here. Oh my goodness, I can't even write the word cut. What on earth is that? <laughs> do you know I do that all the time? I write things and I'm like, I'm writing in another language here. Now, <coughs> what we're going to then do finally is we're going to cut down here. So see where we folded it in half? I'm going to just cut along that line in a minute, but not just yet. We'll come back to that, all right? So let's do these bits first. And then we'll see where we are. So we're going to start off by cutting this little one here. So again, just double check where your folds are. So I'm going to cut that down there. And then we're going to cut. And when you cut that there, you might want to just take it down at a little angle a bit. Just a, a little, see that shape there? That's what we're going to do there, okay? And then we're going to do the same the other side. So we're going to cut down the fold. And then we're going to just add a little angle. Okay, look at that there. There we go. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to glue this flap down. So, take your glue. There we go. And we're going to just glue that down there. Now, you could cut it off if you wanted to. It all depends how thick your paper or your card is. I mean, obviously, if you're doing this with cardstock, then you're not going to want to do that. Um, I'm doing that because it reinforces um, the pocket. Because this is this is the bit where you're putting things in and out all the time. So, so I quite like that bit there, that little bit of excess. You know, why cut it away when we can use it to reinforce? But like I say, if you're doing this with cardstock, you may just want to take that flap off because it's just going to make it bulky otherwise. Okay, so the next bit of cutting we do now is so you're going to turn it around now. So we just glued, put that up there the way a minute. I'm going to come down to this, this end now, which is going to be the back of the pocket and the flap. So we're going to just cut down this line here. And we're going to cut all the way down here, okay? So see where I wrote it on the side there? I'm going to cut all that all the way down there. So keep as close to my fold as I can. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing here now that I did up there. I'm going to finish it off by just taking a little bit of a divot out here. There we go. And then we're going to go back and do the same on the other side. Oh, I just watch there, because if you've not shave that off properly It'll get in the way when you fold later so just make sure that's nice and neat okay now i do tend to turn it over when i do this because i can only cut on one angle and that sounds ridiculous but i don't know about you but i find it just easier to do things a certain way so let's just cut that flap there and then i'm going to cut all the way down here In as close as I can to the fold line and then we're going to finish off by cutting a little divot here. Here we go. So now when we fold this up now, we'll pop those in, fold this up and then we should have a nice large envelope pocket shape there for a moment. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to cut, so just move that out of the way a second, we're going to cut down this line here. So this was the, the top of the flap, if you remember. I'm just going to take my, and again, if you just need to reinforce your lines, obviously I drew on mine so you could see what I was doing, but if you just need to reinforce, you can do that there. So I'm just going to cut that down there, just to the edge. And then what you can do here then is just take the slightest edge off it, just so that it's not getting in the way. So you might just want to shave a little tiny, tiny slither off. And then again on the other side, just so that those two flaps have got plenty of space to open independently of each other. There we go. Take that out of there. Yeah. Right, now what you can do now at this point is you can either cut um, your pocket flap 
um, with, and take, take a little triangle off it so they, they both have a nice neat little V. Or you can take your corner cutter and round off the edges. So entirely up to you, which you prefer to do. But if you're going to do it, do it now because <laughs> it's just easier at this angle. I don't know why, but this was playing up earlier. Hmm. Even better. Let's do two together. nice little flaps look so make it better like that and then let me take it around like that now obviously the next thing you're going to do before you do anything else if you want to ink i would do it now because when it comes to um wanting to ink the this inner flap here it's really difficult to do this once you've glued it all together so this is a point now at which you start to think right how is my pocket design going to look you know my finished product so am i going to want a little um you know a little divot there to, to to kind of get things in and out so here's a good example this is one i did earlier on so this one here i just inked this up with the um weathered wood uh ink from uh the, the stress oxide um, and it just helps you to really see the definition on the pocket but i've also added a um, little divot to mine with my round um punch and it just makes it easier for you to see or to get things in and out of now the one that is in my journal i have actually finished um with stitching so again thinking about how you're going to put it together you know this is the kind of stage where you need to think about all those things before we glue things down because sometimes we're a bit quick to glue and then like oh i should have done this i should have done that i should have done the other um so i would always say at this point ink everything you want to ink now or you know um uh, you, you know use your distress inks or what have you um and then also decide if you're going to do any stitching because sometimes it's just easier to get around things with the, the sewing machine if you know the paper is um, you know separate and you can like move things independently of each other so um, when I did that when they obviously I did each little flap uh, you know by themselves and then I stitched then around the edges um, to close the pocket up now obviously if you're going to stitch you're going to want to stitch really really close to that edge because you don't want to hamper the access to the pocket um, so I did it like, a, like an overlock stitch where you put the needle so that it's flush to one side and then it you know does this as a zigzag but it, every other one is off and down the side so at least then you're only getting one tack in rather than you know losing like you know a centimeter of your pocket space basically i hope that makes sense um and then across the bottom as well so but i'm not going to stitch this one this one i'm just going to glue so let's pretend i've well let's use this one shall we because i've done all of my bits and pieces to this one now so as you can see i've done my um edges of my flaps i've done my little divot in my pocket and I have inked everything that I want to ink so now we're going to do do the glue do the glue so what we're going to do now we're going to glue on this side so where we've got that flap there fold that in we're going to glue down there, there we go and then we're going to glue on the other side and then I'm just going to put a tiny tiny bit down the very center fold of the pockets so that it, where the two of them go together is just a little bit of glue there to keep those two pockets separate That's in, you don't have to do that it's entirely up to you but i just find um it stops your stuff kind of disappearing where it shouldn't disappear so there we are that's your gluing done there we are now if you're going to decorate your pocket now is probably the time to do that before you place it into your um, journal. So I like to put a little bit of lace on the bottom of mine because I think it just, you know, adds a little bit of something to it. Um, I did think I had a bit of pink here, but I haven't. So I will use some of this in lieu of having pink. Um, yeah, so if you just want to add some lace to your pocket to decorate, or if you really wanted to and you wanted to get really clever, what you could do, um, I have some of these left over from my um, belly bands with the pockets. Now you could actually add a pocket now to the front of your pocket. Now I quite like that actually. I think that's quite cool. So now our four pocket pocket becomes a six pocket pocket. Yes, let's do that. 
I like that. Okay, where's my glue? For that, I'm going to add... Oh, looky knocky new. I've taken my metal bit off the front of my... Um, end of my off the end of my glue sorry my mind went completely blank then <laughs> oh dearie me i took the um top off because it was full of glue but i don't actually know how to get it out so soaking at the moment in some hot water but um yeah i how do you clean your your metal bits so i got one on here but i got a little one that goes on there but they get gunked up inside. How, how do you get the glue out of yours? Please give me some tips because um, it's driving me up the wall. And every now and again, I mean, I know I keep a pin in it, but that only does so much, doesn't it? And they are useful because they do stop this coming out in gallons and gallons. Now, I love this paper because you don't actually need to put anything on there. You don't actually need to put any lace on there because it looks like there's lace on there. So, but yeah, so we've now just made our pockets now into a six pocket pocket which is great we can never have too many pockets can we there we go and they were simply just squares of paper with a little divot cut out of it there's nothing complex going on there at all i think that looks fabulous and i think that's now ready to go onto our page so where's my journal let's find the page to pop this on so okay i think we've done most of that one there so yeah, that's where I had my squares from. I had them re made ready. When, remember when we did the belly band, the belly bend, the other week. Um, that's quite a nice page there. Ooh, no, I don't know on that one. Now let's pop it onto this one here. I think. Yeah. And then we will be able to see it in full effect. Let me just fold that down again properly. There we go. And we're going to just clip that around the page. Okay, so just before I pop this into um, the journal, I'm just going to add a few um, little elements to it, just to kind of add a bit of interest. Uh, now, I do have these great little stickers, but I have also just taken all my nails off this morning. So rather than sit this fussing and fiddling, I'm just going to stick a bit of glue on the back. <laughs> For the sake of my ownies. Otherwise, we'll still be here next Tuesday. Okay, let's pop that there a second. Perhaps I'll try this glue. I might stick them down a bit better. And then let's pop our lovely butterfly on. There we go. I think we'll pop her there. Because we don't interfere with that pocket too much, do we? There we go. And then... We will say it's beautiful. Let's have a little bit of lace to go behind me because I do like my wood to pop out a little bit. So I'm going to put a bit of bunched up lace down here. Hopefully it will sit and be well behaved. So it will sit there nice now. And then we will put a nice wood on. Again, these words are um, you know, the kits from Pink Monarch Prints. And they are very beautiful indeed. There we go. So that's that side done. And then we'll do the same on this side. So we'll just stick this stamp down. Um, and yeah, I do know these are stickers. Um, I have just cut my nails so short this morning, I can't get the back off. <laughs> and I am not going to sit here fiddling around trying to do that while you guys are waiting. So it's just a lot easier to just do it this way okay a little bit of glue Oop. using up all my old glitter glue I have to source some more soon I think there we go and then we'll put that little butterfly put him at an angle I think and he's going to take the flight because obviously this is going to be on the other side of the page and perhaps we'll have a little bit more of this curly lace and we'll pop that down by here Excuse my tummy rumbling, I am sorry. And then we will pop our kindness word on there. So we will have beauty and kindness. 
There we go. Stay down there now. Hey. Um, and I was going to wrap this around, but I don't know if I can get the back off. Come on. Yay! Oh, no. i got to be honest with you, I don't work with stickers a lot. And the reason why it is... They cause me so much um, anxiety trying to open them because I just can't grip things. I just can't be doing with it. <laughs> Am I the only person that struggles with these stickers? Please say if you do too, because I won't feel quite so daft then. But that's, that's literally the only reason I don't use them very often is because I just cannot get the back off. And the minute I like miss it the first two times, then I can feel my tummy turning over then. It's like, oh, I can't take the sticker off. This is ridiculous. Okay, right, enough of the drama. Here we are, sticker on, and our labels are done. All right, let's get this into the journal. So as I was um, gonna explain, all dependent on um, what you wanna do with your journal will depend on how you stick your pocket in. So just slide it over the side there. So you can either stick it down um, just at the bottom, and then you will have, um, obviously this nice big pocket behind which you can actually then stagger things out of which can be quite nice if you want things to kind of like creep into the page or you can stick it down as a complete pocket one side and the other and then you'll just then have a top loading pocket so obviously that's entirely up to you Um, you know have a think about how you want to do that but I'm going to stick mine this way so how I begin is I put a little bit of glue right in the centre fold here And then across the bottom. And I do the one side first. So just making sure, see that that's fitting there nice and tidily. And it's straight. And that should be tucked up against the edge of that page there now. And then just wipe off any excess glue. Okay, and then I just do that bottom bit there then. There we go. And that, that is enough then to keep that securely on your page. Oh, I think that looks rather marvellous, don't you? What a pretty pocket. There we go. So let's have a look how we're going to put bits and pieces in our pocket, shall we? So let's pop that one in there. Ooh. Trying to keep that away from the drying glue a moment. Um, and then we've got, uh, let's put that on the other side. Let's put that one in here then. So that can, should be able to go all the way down inside of that pocket now. Yes, it does. And we can just leave that there so we know there's something in there. But you can pop that down then if you want to. And then in the pocket below, then you can add then all your little tickety type things. Oh yes, loving that. And then on the other side, whoop, again, we can pop that there, leave it sticking out a bit just to avoid all that glue. And then inside of here, we've got another top loading pocket, amazing. Pop that flat down and then we can stack up then our pocket here, oops. My hands are not in gear this morning. There we are. There we go. How amazing do they look? I love them. Fabulous. Okay, so there we are. We've managed to make a four pocket pocket out of one sheet of paper, but we've also then turned it into a six pocket pocket by adding two little squares. So realistically speaking, you could do that with one sheet of paper. But I think that's brilliant and it's really simple and easy. Um, again, obviously you don't have to do it the way that I did with the writing on the flaps and stuff, but I'm really forgetful and it just kind of keeps me um, in check so I know what I'm doing then um, and I know where everything needs to be. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave it that today. I hope you enjoyed um, the tutorial. Um, please don't forget what I was telling you at the beginning about the lovely ladies in the Ukraine. Go and check out their uh, Etsy stores. I will put the links below. Also, uh, Pink Monarch Prints, if you wanted to look at any of her kits as well, um, I will pop the link to her kits that I've used today um, down below as well. Um, and then we will be back with you very soon. And also don't forget this week we are bringing you information about our new collaboration that starts at the beginning of next month um, and also the news about the kit that is going to be launched to go with that and there will be a discount code so don't miss anything take care everybody have a great day and we will be back with you very soon bye now <laughs>